inspiration for Hannah's dream came through pure coincidence, actually. I was watching TV one day and just stumbled on a um, program called The Urban Elephant, and it was a moment in the show that had a zookeeper who was at a sanctuary taking the chains off an elephant that he'd been caring for for 23 years and helping her out of the truck to her new life at a sanctuary. And he was crying, and it was very hard to watch and not cry. And so when I decided that an elephant would be a main character of mine one day, I remembered that moment, and it seemed perfect. It was a difficult thing to try and write a book about an animal I've never worked with. I've worked with other very large animals, most notably killer whales. I knew I couldn't write about a killer whale because I couldn't stage it in a compelling way. They're underwater, and that makes it much more difficult. But, so I knew I wanted a big animal, and an Asian elephant fit that pretty well. They are, unlike African elephants, they're a little bit clumsier, they're a little bit homelier, they're not quite as majestic, um, they're very people attuned. There's also a very fine line between anthropomorphizing animals and making them people and respecting them as the animals they really are and reading their personality through very much an animal vocabulary. Hannah certainly was very much an elephant and I tried very hard, especially in her case, because she could have become sort of a maudlin, needy, bleak figure to respect the kind of body language and the kinds of behaviors that elephants and zoos actually do and respect her enough to give her an animal personality. Mm -hmm.